8 will be great, you know, <clears throat> the year of the open gate, the year that we will dominate. Now, the only way for us to dominate in life is for us to be able to exercise authority. And we can only exercise authority if we are under authority. The moment we get out from under authority, we lose, we will lose our authority. Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. So, you know, the word obedience, which was taken from the Greek word, hupo, uh, akuo, denotes three things. Number one, to be under authority. Number two, to listen to what the superior is saying. Number three, to carry out the orders that was given to you. That's obedience. Okay? Yung po ang pinamuhay po ng ating Panginoong Jesus. He was completely under authority to His heavenly Father. In the Garden of Gethsemane, He said, Not my will, but let your will be done. Amen. And whatever His heavenly Father told Him to do, you know, He carried out the orders of His heavenly Father. Even the obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Can you see that? Amen. That's why the Bible said, What was the result? Wherefore God has highly exalted him. Praise God. Do you want God to highly exalt you? I said, Do you want God to highly exalt you? From poverty, God will exalt you to prosperity. From a life of defeat, God will exalt you to a life of victory and success. Do you want God to exalt you? From a life of sickness and disease to a life of divine health. Come on. Do you want God to exalt you? From a life of depression to a life of happiness and joy in the Lord. Glory to God. There are three things that you need to do. Be under authority. Listen to the word. And then carry out the word. Be not hearers of the word only. Be doers of the word. Come on, just bless the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God forevermore. Praise God. Be under authority. If you want to dominate, you know, in, in beginning this year, uh, 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 2008, want to dominate in every area of your life, you know, live a life that will dominate these negative circumstances, you know what? The only reason why we can access authority in the kingdom of God is by being under authority. Remember that? The moment we get out from under authority, we lose our authority in the kingdom of God. Amen? Praise God. You learned something today? Praise the Lord. Those of you who are watching by way of television, you know, we'll give you this opportunity to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life. Again, Romans chapter 10, verse, uh, uh, verse uh, 8 and 9 says, If you shall confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, and you shall believe in your heart that God has raised Him from the dead, you shall be saved. Now, congregation, let's join those watching by way of television in declaring the Lordship of Jesus Christ, will you? Okay, just lift up those hands right now. Say this with me and say this out loud. Lord Jesus, I submit myself to you. I declare from my heart with my mouth today that you are now Lord of my life. I believe, Jesus, that you died for me and that God has raised you from the dead. I am now saved. I am now a child of God. Panginoong Jesus, nagpapasako po sa iyo. Ikaw nang Panginoon sa aking buhay. Tinatanggap kita sa aking puso bilang aking Panginoon sariling tagapagligtas. Maraming salamat, Jesus. Ikaw ay nabuhay na maguli. Ako'y isa ng anak ng Diyos. Sa pangalan ni Jesus, Amen and Amen. Remember these words from the book of Romans chapter 10 verse 8. The word is near you, even in your mouth and in your heart. That is the word of faith which we preach.